No-fly zones have been established around all aerodromes in Australia. The no-fly zones introduce restrictions to operating within three nautical miles of the aerodrome and on the runway approach and departure paths. The no-fly zones also limit the height of remote aircraft operations within the circuit area. To formulate the departure and approach, CAS has used a nominal runway strip width of 100 metres. The departure and approach is defined as a splay of 15 degrees either side of the runway strip, out to a distance of 7 kilometres for non-controlled aerodromes. The width of the corridor at 7 kilometres reaches 3.85 kilometres in width. There is also an area that's been established to protect the circuit area of the aerodrome. This area is defined as two semicircles with a radius of 4 kilometres from the centre line at each end of the runway. The two semicircles are joined by a straight line from the point a beam the end of the runway. This forms an area where remote aircraft can fly to a maximum height of 150 feet or 45 metres. These areas look quite restrictive for remote operators, however, these areas are only restricted whilst there is a relevant event. A relevant event is defined as when a piloted aircraft is utilising the same airspace as the no-fly zones.